All right, everybody. I am in Tupelo, Mississippi. Right now, I am walking on sacred ground, revered ground. It was in 1935 at 4.34 a.m. that he, the king, was born right here in this little tiny shack. That's right, Elvis Presley, the king, was born in this tiny home in 1935. I have always wanted to come here, a pilgrimage if you will, and uh, you can go inside, but I'm not going to quite yet. I'm gonna go grab the wife later today and then we will explore the grounds here celebrate the life of the greatest musician in history the greatest musical artist in history oh yeah don't even try to argue with me I was a huge fan of Elvis as a kid I remember seeing him on TV I wanted to be him all young men wanted to be him all young women wanted to do him it's one of the reasons that us young men wanted to be him, but he was the ultimate and cool. A rebel. And he broke records and holds records as far as sales of music that stand to this day. That tiny little shack was the beginning spot for greatness. Amazing. But anyway, before we go look at that, I'm going to go explore the town of Tupelo. What's it all about? I'm going to go see right now. All right, so let's go see what Tupelo is all about. Now there's Elvis's house again, right there. I am driving out of the parking lot. And so now, I'm going to head into downtown, take a look at the city, see what it's all about. What does the birth town of the king look like? Uh, I'm going to explore downtown a bit and some of the neighborhoods. I want you to feel like you've actually been to Tupelo yourself after watching this video. So right now we are driving away from Elvis's house and uh, this is East Main Street downtown is to the right let's go check it out all right I've just turned on to Main Street East Main Street I believe so this is where Elvis would walk when he went into downtown I'm sure it didn't look like this <laughs> But anyway, a uh, little bit about Tupelo. A little over 38,000 people in the city. It has been named an all-American city five times, which is pretty impressive. Uh, I'm curious to see what the downtown looks like because I gotta tell you, I've been to quite a few places here in Mississippi. And for the most part, the downtowns have not looked good. I'm not trying to make any Mississippi natives upset, but I've been to the Delta, saw the downtowns in Greenville and Clarksdale and Greenwood and Cleveland, Jackson, the capital. And uh, I'm sad to say they look like wastelands, quite frankly. Will Tupelo be any different? Well, we're about to see, because we're about to drive in. Downtown Tupelo. There's a sign. Tupelo, Mississippi. But I got to tell you right off the bat, as we enter downtown, it's looking pretty nice. There are cars here. There's traffic. 
There are people. There are new buildings. All right, we are in downtown Tupelo right now. You can see for yourself. Cars everywhere. Driving. It's about 10 in the morning, so it's still early. But downtown uh, seems to be a hive of activity. So far, it's looking pretty beautiful. Yeah, I'm impressed. Now right there, that building is the Tupelo Hardware Store. In a bit here, I'll pop out and try to take a look at it, but that is the store that Elvis went in side of and bought his first guitar right there. A place of history. Tupelo, uh, Tupelo Hardware Store. Now you're looking at the downtown. I mean it's in the morning there's not a lot of people walking around but you can tell that there are people here. Pretty awesome. And okay. I'm kind of through it now, so I'm going to turn around and take a look a little bit more. I'm on South Spring Street. There's a Tupelo sign that many an Instagrammer shoots in front of. Got some lights above the street, so apparently this is a gathering spot of some sort. And we have uh, Lee County Justice Center. County Courthouse, it looks like. Beautiful old building. And right up ahead is the old Lyric Theater. Here's another shot of that building. Anyway, that's the Lyric Theater. Built in 1912. Many believe that it's haunted because after a tornado it served as a temporary morgue. But its biggest place in history is that is where the king, Elvis Presley, kissed his first girl. So that building should never be torn down. I wonder who the lucky girl was. Hmm. That is Tupelo City Hall that you're looking at. I'm on foot here in downtown Tupelo. Had to come here. It is in this spot in 1945 that 10 year old Elvis won his first singing contest. He placed fifth. Now that's kind of shocking, fifth. But anyway, years later he would return as the king to the very spot. And of course they have since erected a statue for him, deservedly so. Amazing, isn't it? Now his house is just a couple miles that way. And uh, I don't know if you can see it right there, directly in the middle of the frame, that's Tupelo Hardware Company, the store that he bought his first guitar in. So you can just feel the history a little bit here and wonder what it was like way back when, when Elvis was probably walking around playing with his friends right here. I'm sure it looked a lot different then. A lot of new modern buildings now, but still, awesome. That's all I gotta say. Now here's some information about that day in 1945. Here's a picture of Elvis after he won. Uh, he's third from left, so that's him right there. Make sure I got him in the middle of frame. Yeah, third from left. That's young 10-year-old Elvis, just after he won fifth place. <laughs> and then this is him in 1956, triumphantly returning as the king to play right here in this very spot. And of course the statue looks, or captured this pose, from this picture taken at the event. 
So how awesomely cool is that? Scattered throughout the downtown of Tupelo are somewhere between 25 and 30 guitars. It's called the Elvis Guitar Trail. You can see them all over. There's one across the street too. I'm not going to go to every single one of them. Man, that truck is loud. Just wanted you, just wanted you to know that they're there. All through downtown here. If you ever come. And decide you want to get your picture taken with them. It's actually a train coming way down there. But you wonder. I wondered, anyway. Did Elvis play along these tracks as a kid? I bet he did. I bet he did. The hardware store is right over here. That's coming up next. In God We Trust, Mississippi. You can barely hear that train coming. Nice shot of downtown Tupelo. It is really nice, isn't it? Lots of traffic down here. Anyway, that is Tupelo Hardware Co. The place Elvis bought his first guitar. Go check it out. I'm just outside the uh, store now. It's got a cutout of Elvis. And a guitar here. I wonder if this is the guitar. A replica of the one that he bought. It's blue. Anyway. Take a look inside. Yeah, it's an old school hardware store. For sure. S still sells paint and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna check it out. I'm in the store now. There's a cutout of Elvis up here, but the store still sells guitars. How about that? And of course, regular hardware goods. Amazing. All right, I'm back outside now, and I just saw this. In 1946, Elvis' mother, Gladys, brought him here to buy a bicycle. Once they arrived, a 22 caliber rifle caught Elvis' eye. He asked his mother to buy it instead. She wasn't happy about it, so they compromised on a guitar. The guitar was sold to young Elvis for $7.90. What a return on that investment, huh? Somebody needs a muffler on their car. Anyway, yeah, I bought myself a, see if you can see it, a Tupelo Hardware shirt from the store here, which I will wear with pride. Pretty cool mural here. Uh, Tupelo, 1870. I'm pretty sure that was when the city was founded if my memory serves me. All right, I'm coming back out on Main Street. I just spotted this really old Coca-Cola sign, mural, whatever you want to call it, but it's, uh, it's a beauty. You can tell it's been there a long time. Most of the buildings here were built in the early 1900s. Oh, it's pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna get back out on Main Street here. I have to be honest, it's already mid-90s here, about 10.30 in the morning. So uh, I gotta get in the car, it's hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna get in the car and uh, do some exploring of the neighborhoods in the area. Yeah, I'm heading back to the Bronco now, and um, geez, I almost missed this. <clears throat> Pretty awesome, isn't it? Picture of the king right here on the main street. Anyway, as I said, I got to make it <clears throat> make my oh my throat's all caught up. I got to make my way back to the Bronco because it is in the mid 90s, and I'm dripping with sweat. <laughs> It's uh, quite the life of a person who explores downtowns on foot. I was in uh, Roswell, New Mexico 
I guess last November or December walking around on foot and it was eight degrees and here I am experiencing a different extreme in weather closing in on a hundred here in Mississippi all right well I'm gonna take a look just outside of downtown now up here on the right is the old cotton mill historic district yeah that's pretty that's it I think a little bit of history there I think I'll drive around I'm just about a block maybe two blocks off downtown see what some of this uh, old architecture looks like yeah there's that uh, mill And look at this. Now that is a yard. <laughs> Welcome to our porch. And that is something, isn't it? All the stuff they got in the yard there. Yeah, I just love old buildings like this. The old paintings, the signs on the walls or on the brick yeah that is cool look at this my local produce that is really awesome too Let's see if I can go take a look at that Awesome. I'm continuing my drive through some of the neighborhoods. Look at that old 7-Up sign. That would probably get some money at an antique market where I live in suburban Texas. <laughs> yeah, some pretty old houses here. Really uh, established neighborhood. It's nice. Okay, we've got a uh, really old church up here. Yeah, look at that, huh? Kind of cruising around this neighborhood a little. It's a well-established neighborhood. You can tell it's been here a while. Love these kind of old neighborhoods. Yeah, look at that. Really old homes, huh? Amazing. This is the south. These huge trees. Wow. These beautiful old homes. Yeah, I'm one street off uh, Main Street in downtown. Beautiful old houses here. Stately old homes with the big porches and the columns. It's awesome. Okay, I had to make a quick stop here. I saw this as I was driving down the road. This is a shotgun style house. 
under construction a new one I have never seen a new one I've only seen old ones I'm just wondering what it looks like on the inside I'm gonna take a peek but I'm pretty sure they don't have the sheetrock in yet so it will most likely be hard to tell it's got a garage here got one car garage in the back take a peek inside hopefully nobody will run me off yeah shotgun house long skinny see there's the front door that's why they're called that you can shoot a gun through it and go from one the front door to the back door incredible well can't really tell much because like I said the sheetrock's not in but I'm guessing uh, that's probably a master bedroom, obviously a bathroom with a walk-in closet. This is the living area, probably the kitchen here and dining room and a couple bedrooms. One here and one here with a bathroom in between. So cute little three bedroom house, shotgun style. Wow, that's so cool. Hmm, I would like to see this finished. Now I'm driving through a suburban-like neighborhood, you know, more modern one. The kind you see where all the houses look very similar. You see a lot in the suburbs, but what's striking to me about this neighborhood is there are no trees. I don't get it. Are they not allowed to plant trees here? It would give this little street so much more uh, character if they would uh, plant some trees I mean just uh, take a right right out of it into this older neighborhood and look at the difference yeah they're older homes and of course they all don't look just alike like those but even better lots and lots of trees and plants I don't get that. Maybe someone uh, can post in the comments what's going on there. Anyway, yeah. I'm still just uh, driving through, taking a look at stuff. It's a very nice city. That's all I can say. I've crisscrossed through much of it so uh, already, and uh, I mean, it's just a a nice town all right so uh, anyway I think I've seen enough Look at that beautiful old house Wow um yeah so I'm gonna go pick up the wife and uh, take a look at this house first though Woo! that's a bona fide mansion isn't it Anyway, I'm going to pick up the wife, and uh, we're going to go back to Elvis's birthplace, and then we're going to check out a local restaurant slash bar that's uh, unique to Tupelo. So that's coming up next, after we look at this beautiful house. Wow, oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, I have returned to Elvis's birthplace. I have wife in tow. We're gonna go see the inside of it now. So, are you ready for this? You were out here earlier? Yeah, it's here earlier. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. I had to make my pilgrimage. So it's hallow ground. Oh, it is not hallow ground. It is hallow ground. So, we're gonna go see the inside of it now. See where Elvis and his twin brother, by the way. I know that. Who was stillborn. He's, he's, buried, he's buried in Graceland. Yeah, they were born inside this little shack. This tiny little two-bedroom house, or two-room house. So I wonder if it would have been an, um, an identical twin or just a fraternal twin. I don't know, but we're going to go see here knows. right now. All right, we've got our tickets to go inside. Look, honey, there's all these things that, things that are... Uh, picture worthy. There's a oh. snuff picture at. Well, I'm just interested to see 
where he's been or where he was born. Instagram would be spots to snap that great pic. I guess they all have to do, I wonder all what right. they all have to do with all those. Well, let's go in. All right, all right. Are we leaving the tickets here? Just tear that little blue thing off. Here, you take them off? Yeah. Wow. Is it facing the rain? It is. Well, it's been raining for a while. Yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of stopping now. So is this where his parents slept? Yeah, and I guess him too. Till, wow. Is this the only bedroom, I guess? Yes, ma'am. So you walk in right to the bedroom. Yep. So, so the curious. front door. Yeah, you know. I don't know. They were identical. Yeah, so you walk into a bedroom. It's only two rooms in this uh, little house. There's two rooms in the house. And the other room's the kitchen. This is the shotgun house. That's the stove, that's the room with bricks, and that's the ice box that the Vernon brought back up here. Oh, okay. All right. This is the entire house. This is the entire house? This is it. Yeah. I know, it's a little two room house. This is it. That his so dad built. Totally Front door. The bedroom where Elvis yes, <laughs> apparently slept well. with his parents. I don't and think they had a plastic trash can though. Yeah. <laughs> and then the little kitchen. Is that is amazing. House. Yeah. Talk mm -hmm. about uh, a, a lowly place where greatness came from. Mm hmm. Incredible. Yep. Now be careful. Okay. All right. Take his he probably didn't have an air conditioner either. But anyway, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing that he came from these humble beginnings. And to this day is the greatest recording artist they, ever. They got out. Yeah, they got kicked out. But he was born there. That humble place. The fountain of life. And it's Elvis in front of his little shack. That one right there. How cool is that? The Fountain of Life. Amazing. Elvis Presley's Childhood Church. Pentecostal church service. Fell in love with, where Elvis fell in love with gospel music. Wow. Mm -hmm. is this is not the original location. They've moved it. Yeah. How about that? Think we can go inside? Let's go see. Let's go see if we can go inside. Lead the way. At one point, at one point they moved it when they were making it. They were going to build a bigger church. You yeah. know, at the original location, they moved this. They moved this building across the street, and it was turned into just a residence. Oh. And then in 2008, they moved it back here and restored it to its. Well, I should hope original. so. This, this is the church that Alice went to for Pete's sakes. Oh, no, it's locked. It's locked. Boo. It's locked. All right. Apparently they do have... We're going to head to the museum. Apparently they do have services here. That was not a trip. Yeah. And look, uh, they have an outhouse. Let's check that out real quick. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Wow, is that tiny? Oh, it's a replica. Boo! I was hoping it was a real thing. How's your hair looking? That would have been cool if that was the outhouse that Elvis took a, took a whiz in. in. And that too. <laughs> but oh well. We get the idea, huh? weird it doesn't look, I just thought it, I thought it would like kind of just look like a toilet in there <laughs> no that's the toilet right there that piece of wood I see ew and what do they do they just is there just like a bucket underneath and somebody has to I think it's a big hole out? in the ground I'm not sure oh it's or a maybe a bucket it might be round it might be right it might be a bucket anyway all right we're gonna go check out the museum now all right I'm in the bathroom at the Elvis Presley Museum this is posted above the urinals <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had to get that. That's hysterical. Up here outside the museum, they have these uh, statues of Elvis. One at 11 years old. And of course, when he became a big star. Yeah, it's really cool. And you can see Tupelo. Laid out in front of us there. Okay, we are uh, at the Blue Canoe. Good mood food. This was uh, recommended to us 
as one of the best places in town and of course it's a unique place only in Tupelo. Okay, but where are they putting these canoes? I don't see any water. Maybe the canoe's in there. I don't know, but we're going to go find out. All right, this is the inside of the place. It's your classic dive bar slash restaurant. It's got a uh, stage for a live band. It's pretty awesome. And then you have the restaurant and then the bar on the other side there. Where we're at. And then the restroom's here. It's a cool place. We're going to order some food here. See how good that is. Yeah, it's a pretty good bar. There's a picture of Elvis right there. Of course, you better have a picture of Elvis in Miss Tupelo, Mississippi, huh? Uh -huh. Got, a lot, got a lot of beers on tap. And what, what animal is that? Is it a bong hanging out of its mouth? I don't know, it looks like a dog of some sort. They've got, they've got like a gas mask. Huh? Like a gas mask on. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's pretty cool in here. I like it. Cool place. Let's see what you got here. So you got this uh, got salmon, salmon BLT with a salad. Yeah. Why are you wow. taking video of my of my food? Because <laughs> it's for the uh, for that video. And gotcha. then I got gotcha. this is pot roast on top of a waffle. Uh, it's a cornbread, cornbread waffle. waffle. Yeah. Those little baby like fingerling potatoes I might want to see. Yeah. yeah you... Cornbread waffle. Anyway, we're ready to dive in and see if it's good. All right, I'm having some dessert. This is called uh, Connie's Blueberry Donut Bread Pudding. It's supposed to be fantastic. All right, we're leaving. There she goes. She figured it out. Okay, so we just uh, left the uh, Blue Canoe. It was awesome. Nice people. Customers there. Very Bartenders nice there. Very we're back at the hotel. And, uh, and great food. Yeah, so it was a good time. Highly uh, recommend the Blue Canoe if you are coming to Tupelo, Tupelo Mississippi. Now, this is an interesting looking place, isn't it? Anyway, this is the end of the video. <laughs> Train just stopped right there. I'm about a block off downtown. Downtown's right that way. You could walk to it. Give you an idea where I'm at. But as I said, this is the end of the video. We had a great time here in Tupelo. It's a beautiful city. Well worth a visit. Wow. The train is getting ready to uh, move again. Anyway, yeah, it's a great town. Highly recommend visiting just to see Elvis's birthplace. And uh, anyway, we will be going to Huntsville, Alabama next. Recently rated the top city in America to live in. The most livable. Is it really? Well, I'm going to find out. So uh, be looking for that one.